Oh, guys, we're all together. Let's stay together. Oh, I just saw you die bad. I'm gonna teabag you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me teabag and wait. Don't move. Don't move. Don't you move. Have you guys no respect for yeah. a dead corpse? <laughs> team bagging. We're team bagging, bro. <laughs> The part one to this video, there was a lot of comment that's like a drastic difference between single and dual channels. Well, this is the follow up to that question. If you have just joined in, definitely check out part one to this video and it is available on the link on the top of the screen right there. Before making the first video, I did a lot of research and apparently there's quite a lot of people saying there's not a lot of difference uh, between single and dual channel. Like this for example here, uh, this review saying Battlefield 4 has basically no difference to it here. Dirt Rally 2 FPS difference and it's slower on the dual channel setup. Even look at GTA 5, there is basically only 2 FPS difference between single and dual channel as well. So let's get into some of my testing results. This is memory mark and uh, testing dual channels for both 8 gigabyte capacity and 16 gigabyte capacity. And as you can see, hardly any difference between the results. Whereas compared to the single channel, you'll notice a fairly significant difference. And now to my favorite part here, five more hours of Amiens. Yay! If you watch part 1 to this video, you will notice that the low FPS for the 16GB at dual channel is 50 FPS. Right now, I'm running this game with the 8GB setup dual channel, uh, so it gives you an apple to apple comparison except for memory capacity. And uh, you will notice that the frame rates are fairly smooth and uh, it's noticeably better. And you know, comparing both 8GB and 16GB dual channel, I did not really notice a difference except for some moments which I'm going to show you in a bit here. So as long as you run dual channel, whether it's 8GB or 16GB, there is generally no difference in performance. However, there is an issue with stuttering if you run 8GB. Uh, look out, check out this scene here on the hallway. Notice how it started quite a few times there, so I'm going to show you that same scene again, this time at half a speed. That stuttering looks pretty bad, doesn't it? So if you notice at the start of this scene, there's also some lag or stuttering. Um, so you might ask, there's no point going to 16 gigabytes, am I right? Yeah, uh, yes and no. I still recommend 16 gigabytes, um, and uh, the reason why is the 16 gigabytes gives your system a lot of breathing room. Uh, I want to show you this here. So check out the memory usage right now. Looks like around 7 gigabyte or so here, right? Let's change that scene to the 16 gigabyte setup. Suddenly, my computer uses 8.7 gigabytes. And nothing has changed except memory capacity. Same programs running in background there. Um, and uh, the 16 gigabyte setup, only 54% of the memory is being used. So the computer has more than enough space or you know, basically a lot of freedom to use as much memory as it wants. But only needs 54. Um, if you notice, on the 8 gigabyte setup, uh, there's a difference between these two numbers of 1.6 gigs. So what happened to that 1.6? I'm going to say the same thing as I did for part 1. Uh, when you're on your 8GB setup here, uh, basically you're starving your computer from the freedom of using as much memory as possible. And uh, when you load up the game, the game takes priority. It does unload a lot of uh, the background, not the game, but your system does unload of the background applications into your hard disk drive. I believe it's called the page file area uh, where they put these programs. So once it does that, uh, your game has maximum priority, but if you have a lot of background programs running at the same time and playing the game, uh, there's a much more significant performance difference to it. So your computer basically is always using the hard disk drive. Your hard disk drive remains really busy because it keeps moving data into the system memory and moving out uh, depends on your demand. So in conclusion, is there a difference between single and dual channel? Yes. Is it significant? No. 
It's only 5 FPS difference in my scenario and my setup right here. Uh, can it be different for other people? Yes, it is definitely different. If you have, uh, let's say, 8 gigabyte uh, dual channel right now and you upgrade it to a dual channel again at 16 gigabytes, when you see a performance gain, there is a good chance. Again, really depends on how much background program is running for you. It depends on your system setup, what programs you're running. It's so many variables there. But uh, yeah, this is a good guideline to start off from. Uh, if there's any further questions, feel free to drop me in the comments below here. And uh, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube page here. I am right now streaming a lot of Battlefield 1 gameplay live from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. So check it out, subscribe to me, and check out some of my live gaming feeds there. Thank you.